yourself back, amen, and you did all that you could, but it wasn't good enough for them. The manipulators will make you feel guilty. They will make you feel like you're neglecting them and turning their back on them because that's their aggressive manipulation tactic. So when you know the tactics of the manipulators, then you don't fall prey to the manipulation. In contrast, this is what the Bible says about that particular scheme of manipulation. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3, 5, it says that love is not self-seeking. We know that that's the love chapter, and it tells us everything in the Bible about what love is not. And so the manipulator is actually operating out of a spirit of lust, because we know that lust takes and love gives. And so when you're being manipulated, amen, by a manipulator, these are some of the tactics that they will use to try to bring you under. The next one is screaming. Do we know any manipulators? Or maybe we have been in a place where we were manipulated. Because, see, I know that before I knew Christ, I was a, I was a conniver. Oh, I was a conniver. I told y'all about that ring that I got out that girl that time. Spotted it from across the room. And I was in high school. Wow. But that thing was in me because the Bible says that we are what we are shaping in iniquity. That thing was in me. I was a manipulator, a master manipulator. So manipulators are really out for what they want. It was the lust of my eyes when I saw that ring sparkle from across the gym room. I knew. I said, that's a diamond. My God. Go ahead. Go ahead. And walked out of the gym room with the ring on. My Lord. Wow. My, my, my. Amen. So true. You know when people say, been there, done that? Yeah. We got to really get to put, been there, done that. I, you know what? That used to be me. I know exactly what you operating out of. Because I used to be like you. I was good at it, though, better. Because some folks try to manipulate, and they're not even good at, at, at manipulating. <laughs> And so here you have uh, the manipulator will use, this is also under aggressive manipulation, where they, they use uh, yelling as a pressure tactic. And it's basically to unnerve, to publicly humiliate, or to personally intimidate you. Now, I know we've all been in a place where at some point or another, either we were on the opposite side of the manipulation or being a manipulator. But today we're going to talk about those that would manip manipulate us so that you can identify because we're in a season where the Lord is desiring to pour out power and blessings and strategic plans for his people. And he doesn't want us to be ignorant of the enemy's devices. And the thing about it is manipulators come in all shapes and sizes, you understand. They come with friends, coworkers, family members, uh, church members. But a manipulator is just a manipulator, one who really needs healing and deliverance, and we're going to get into that later if I can get through it today. But also, they do this to publicly humiliate and to personally intimidate people. Why does one personally would, would take personal pride in intimidating someone? That's because they're not secure and sound with who they are. There's an issue going on in the core of their soul and their being, and so because they lack identity and because they lack wholeness in Christ through the blood and the power of his blood, then what happens is they will try to shift that thing, and they become these manipulators that will then try to humiliate you in front of people. If I humiliate you, then it makes me look good. But really what the manipulator is implying is that if you don't do what I want you to do, you'll wish you had done what I wanted you to do. And so that's another tactic that the manipulator plays. When we look in the Word of God here, Psalm 64 verse 3 says, They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their words like deadly arrows. And so the manipulator is always aiming an arrow to try to defeat the one they want to really conquer. It is really a tactic that the enemy uses to try to break the will of the man or woman of God. Another one that falls under there are the uh, sarcastic swords. These are some of the daggers, the stabbing, you know, the, the, the cutting humor, uh, uh, the jabbing words, painful put-downs, or malicious mocking. You understand the manipulator will make you feel so bad about yourself. You'll really wonder if there was really power in that blood that made you whole and free. 
guilty because the manipulator's main tactic, amen, is to make you feel bad about yourself because they really feel bad about who they are and where they are. And so when they use these words as swords and daggers, basically, the manipulator.